Don. Got Don Harrell.
Okay, let's go. We're up for Mr. General Secretary, do you expect an American response to your troop withdrawal and Because I wanted my address to be a logical continuation of what we have been doing together over these last years. Real politics. Our fifth meeting is taking place, has taken place, maybe not a negotiating meeting, but it is our fifth meeting. Remember, standing there in Geneva, after we The Vice President, President Collect, is, is just uh, listening. And uh, he is saying, well, let them talk. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, why did you decide to make a major cut in conventional troops, and what do you hope to accomplish from this meeting? Я сказал президенту и вице-президенту, будущему президенту Соединенных Штатов Америки, что в моей сегодняшней речи то, что сказано, можно сказать, это реализация того, что было выдвинуто в январе 1986 года. Is a continuation and implementation of what we first uh, outlined in uh, my statement of uh, January 15, 1986. You know, I 
очень высоко ценю то, что мы с господином президентом вышли на в последнее время в результате поисков, сотрудничества, переговоров на этап реальной политики. That the president and I have been able, over these recent years, to achieve as a result of joint analysis, joint cooperation, as a result of working together, a real, specific steps forward. И то, что сегодня я еще изложил некоторые дополнительные наши соображения, относящиеся, так сказать, тоже к сфере реальной политики, это лишь подтверждение того, что мы делаем совместно. And what I have been able to outline today, certain additional ideas that also demonstrate the realistic nature of our policy, well, that adds to all this. Это приглашение трудиться вместе, и не только Соединенным Штатам, но и другим странам. It is an invitation to work together, not Mr. only an invitation to the United States, but to all other countries. Я надеюсь, это все базируется на здравом смысле. And I hope that all this is grounded in common sense in, and in our common experience. Well, if you want to work together, Mr. General Secretary, do you then expect NATO allies, the U.S., to also reduce their troops? Я пояснил, что эти шаги мы делаем в одностороннем порядке. First of all, I have explained that we are taking these steps unilaterally without relation to the Vienna Conference. А весь комплекс вопросов, связанных и с разоружением, и с гуманитарными вопросами, с экономикой, мы постоянно обсуждаем вместе и с европейцами. И я думаю, что у нас эта встреча не для переговоров, а Она оказалась просто такой встречей, которая возникла в результате желания с двух сторон, поскольку я оказался здесь, и президент Рейган откликнулся на то, чтобы встретиться, и господин Буш. Тем не менее, я думаю, и на этой встрече мы будем говорить о будущем наших отношений. And as for the entire range of uh, problems, such as disarmament, humanitarian issues, and the economy, all of these questions we've been discussing with the United States and uh, with uh, our European uh, partners. And as for this meeting, although this is not a negotiating meeting, but just a get-together, which is a result of my being here, and of the fact that uh, President Reagan and uh, Mr. Bush um, have um, wanted to meet with me on this occasion as well. I think that this is another opportunity for us to have a good substantive discussion. Lights, please. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to have a lot of opposition in your own country about this big cut? I mean, are the, are the hardliners in your country opposed to cutting troops that much? Yet. No. Нет. 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 And still, the answer to that question is no. <laughs> okay. Next, Mark. A fireplace uh, there and uh, electric lights here. <laughs>
television lights. Television lights. Lights, please. Thank you. Спасибо. Пожалуйста, там такая ситуация. Все корреспонденты под солнцем, а ты смотришь на солнце. Uh, you know, the, by the way, when the, I landed the, 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 uh, at the JFK airport and I made a few remarks to the, the press, crowd comes in, the situation was this. Sure. The Thank press uh, stood, so to say, under the sun, and I was facing the sun, the sun right in my eyes. And that was, you know, a situation worse than worse. Hey, Nick. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so we are on Governor's Island here, yes. which is called Governor's Island Y. I'm sure I don't know. Where's the Admiral? Nick, why is this called Governor's Island? Governor of the British Governors for that private. That's the right man. to the British Governors for their use early, early, early on. Thank you. Sir? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sir? Thank you very much. Ma'am? Sir? This way? Thank you. We have been referring to him a number of times, but I don't remember that particular remark. When the president, he said one day, I walked out of the White House, down the Thomas River, and walked across the river on the surface of the water. The press would report, the president. This is that moment our first meeting when we stopped in the parking lot. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. You want me to read for them the, what it says? Yes, yes, yes. We have walked a long way together to clear a path for peace. Geneva, 1935. New York, 1988. <laughs> 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 Я очень высоко оцениваю наши личные.